Welcome to Xbox Tavern's review of Scourge Bringer. I am Daniel, and I'm going to be taking you through this. Published by Dear Villagers, developed by Flying Oak Games and E Studios. Set in a post apocalyptic world where a mysterious entity wreaks havoc on all humanity, Scourge Bringer puts you in the shoes of the deadliest warrior of her clan, Kyra. Help her to explore the unknown and slash her way through the ancient machines guarding the seal of her past, and maybe the redemption of all humanity. Right now you're looking on the screen where you find one of these pillars, is the word I'm looking for. Each pillar gives you a power, so as you progress through the rooms you'll find one of these pillars in each game. You can see me flying around the map bit effortlessly and this helps with the fact that you have a double jump as well as hitting, I think it was LB but it might be RB, where you can fly and kind of attack with a cut of your sword. Um, this gives some, some really unique ways of jumping in and around the room and trying to dodge your enemies. I quite enjoyed that mechanic. You also have a pistol Sometimes it turns into a machine gun. It depends what you pick up. These are what these roguelike games are basically like. You've seen me enter a room with a boss. Uh, these are so difficult, some of these boss battles. You do have a mini boss and then also you do have the, the main boss. Unfortunately, this one absolutely wrecked me. You've got some information that's popped up on the screen. How many attempts you've run, how long it took you, what you've collected, some of your power-ups, and here is uh, one of your skill trees. If you see at the bottom right-hand side, those are the bloods that you collect. These are the ones that unlock your skill trees that give you either more XP, a ground pound. Uh, this is your, if you remember Dead Cells, you're kind of where you've died, you go around jumping into that middle diamond, takes you into the, the game again and lets you restart and wreak havoc or try to against these enemies. Movement in this game is fast paced and as I said with the added button of LB or RB flying through and kind of a, a ninja attack gives you multiple ways to dart and fly around this map. Controls are smooth, it is enjoyable to play. Um, as you can see from when I kill enemies little blood dots kind of come up and uh, attracted to me. That's your in-game currency which you can collect and then spend money on later on when you come to a vendor. Um, vendors are, I want to say, potentially two per level or two per dungeon. Um, they do seem highly expensive as well, which is um, quite frustrating but for the amount of enemies that turn up sometimes it works as you can see from this one I've just been talking about how expensive they are I could afford a cucumber on this part which is ridiculous but on this next screen when you pause it it gives you an element of all the things you're collecting through the game so whether you've got plus five for your damage or minus for one of your passive abilities um, there is a lot of information on that screen. I want to say in this health comes at such a premium it's hard to come by most of the time you have to get it from one of the vendors or if you're super lucky one of the enemies you kill may drop something that will give you you know plus three health. Please check out my written review at xboxtavern.com you'll also see the scores the good and bad points from this game. You'll also check out some of the other people's reviews as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, drop a comment. Let me know if you're gonna pick up this game. Let me know if you've tried this game. Remember, this game is on Game Pass, so pick it up. I have been Daniel. We have been Xbox Tavern. Until next time, take care.